Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. I was thinking about this topic a little earlier. It just kind of popped into my head. I was watching a uh, clip from that old 1976 movie Network where, um, what's his name? Beale, Arthur Beale, I don't know what the member, the, the main character. He goes into the speech about being mad as hell. Uh, if you're following me on Facebook, you can go and see the clip. I posted it up there. It, it's a, a great movie. It, the whole movie is, is worth watching. And 1976, that's a long time ago. I was only five years old when that movie came out. It's like not a damn thing has changed, man. And it really got me thinking about this spirit of evil that has existed my whole life. I'm getting sick of it and we have to fight it. We have to hunt evil, hunt evil spirits. See, the, the spirit of evil is going through everybody. You know, you've heard this idea that we all have our own little problems. Everybody's got our own problems. My problems, you don't want to hear my list of problems. I don't want to hear yours. We all have our own list of problems. We all have our battle to fight. You've heard that before. We all have our own little battle to fight. Every man out there is fighting his own battle. And in some ways, yes, that's true. But if you look at the larger picture, every single man is fighting the same battle. Every single man has fought the same battle. Not everybody wins, some people lose. Some people get captured and taken hostage, become prisoners of war. But that battle that you're fighting is fighting evil. Fighting this evil spirit, this spirit of evil. I'm not talking about ghosts. There's a difference between ghosts and spirits. So if you're going to hunt evil spirits, how do you do that? Well, this is why I talk about mind, body, and soul as a lifestyle. It, this is your boot camp. This is the training that you start with. The basic tools you're going to need on your journey, on that path. And as you walk the path, you find your particular strengths and you find your way. This is why I tell people that movement is so important because you're not going to find your way sitting on the side of the road. You're going to find your way as you walk the path. It reveals itself to you. Your, your destiny in life reveals itself to you as you move forward through strength. That's the key. So let's just go over some brief ways of how you can hunt evil. This spirit of evil that exists throughout the world that people have been complaining about people have been screaming about like in that in that clip from that movie network and everybody screams out their windows I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore that's a crazy scene that scene is a little bit overwhelming for me sometimes so one way that you can hunt evil is to know your enemy a warrior knows his enemy to study your enemy. What's that old saying? I, I always butcher it. Show me my friends because I know my enemy by heart. And it's because a, a real warrior studies his enemy so much. In order to be able to defeat the enemy, you have to study him. To almost become your enemy, but to be able to save yourself from that darkness. You know, your enemy is better than your friends oftentimes. Another way is to gather the right weapons or to gather the right tools that you might need. You video game people know about this. You need the right tools, you need the right things as you go along through the journey. You're never going to be able to level up in the game if you don't stop and get the right tools. Those tools you're going to find in your mind, body, and soul lifestyle. You're going to be constantly building your, your war chest, your, your 
your arsenal. You have a room in your house full of weapons. I got one. I don't know if you do. I got a room in my house full of weapons. But I also got a room in my head full of weapons. Another way that you can hunt evil spirits, hunt this spirit of evil. We're not talking about ghosts. Don't get confused. This is more existential than that. I'm not scared of ghosts. You have to learn from experienced warriors. Learn from experienced hunters. Soldiers do this. War, uh, warriors do this. Hunters do this. Fishermen do this. A good fisherman is going to go and talk to other fishermen. Learn the tricks of the trade. You want to become a master of the art of hunting. A really good hunter enjoys the hunt. Enjoys the art of it. You want to have the right tactics for the right targets. So you're going to want to study tactics. You're going to want to think about different ways of attack. And there's all kinds of ta attacks. There's ground attacks, air attacks, attacking in packs, attacking from a blind, you know, like from the bushes, from a secret spot. There's ambushes. Maybe you guys, some of you guys are better warriors than me. You know of all kinds of attacks. Put some below so people can read the list. And, you know, this is all meant for you to digest and to kind of process of how you can be more in the spirit of warriorship, more on a positive path, more on a righteous path, and to understand what you're actually doing in life. I mean, yeah, you're trying to pay your bills and you're fighting with your ex and maybe your kid is acting stupid and he won't listen and oh you got a world of problems every man has his battle but that battle we're all fighting the same battle you see another man any other man as you go through your week this week when you're commuting or at work wherever you are and you know every single one of them is fighting a battle and they're all fighting a battle of evil the spirit of evil that's infected this planet. It's food for thought.